hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say in all this in thing but welcome back to my channel of course you know I'm doing a review on the violet Foss hashtag palette see how I feel about this baby like let's see let's just see and subscribe I'm gonna look dead in the lens and say subscribe I might be just sitting here watching and it's like do I really want to follow this weirdo I want to subscribe to her. I don't want to hit the bell button. Yes, yes, you do. Oh, I did it. Sometimes I can't do it. But yes, you do. Because, you know, we, we sometimes be lit and kind of awkward, but it's okay. Uh, mini a little tutorial on this too, but, um. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to get on. It's enough talking, but subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I really, I really appreciate it. I'm not like harassing you guys. I can't even tell if you guys subscribe or not. I'm not gonna leave all that information, but you can hear it. But subscribe. People just don't care that I'm filming. It's how you love in the background. Hopefully, you guys can hear that. But yeah, subscribe <laughs> to my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking to you and get along with the video. There we go. Okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I know I need something new to say in the beginning because it's getting a little boring and tired, but okay, well, let's gonna get on with it. So as you can read by the title, this is a review of the Violet Voss Pro palette, the hashtag one. Now this is actually my first Violet Voss palette, so I actually so that's just gonna kind of be like a first impressions too, because I don't know how they perform, I don't know how they swatch. I didn't even swatch it. This is gonna be like a one little divot because I when I open it I kind of dig my nail into it this morning, but I'm not gonna talk about that. This is the palette that I talked about in my last video that I was supposed to be reviewing, but Sephora took forever to review. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over being sick, playing it still on my chin. But we're gonna just talk about it a little bit before I actually go in with it and do an eye look. Okay, so the first thing I did, I seen when I opened the back of it. Well, when I hit the packaging in the back, this is the, the box it actually came in. It said it was infused with jojoba oil. And if you like into natural hair, you know jojoba oil is like the bomb. So that's what I was kind of excited about. Now this packaging, it's really nice. It's really like sturdy and it's like heavy packaging. I just retail bought for I believe $45, which is expensive but not eh, it's about typical for a palette and like this like morphe morphe is just barely like raising up the prices which i'm not too happy about but okay it's all right and now it's like matte black as you can see like this i had oily hands so i'm trying to like wipe it off it's kind of stained and i like the color concept because it does match the inside kind of i would love this a lot more if this was like the more metallic -y one so like you know like the loom the dual chrome kind that'd be so cool one thing i can say this gives you a whole sunset vibe with the oranges the reds and the purples when you open the palette it's not it's not quite the same now don't get me wrong i bought this palette because i don't have anything like this especially because with the purples i do have the morphe 35p but this is completely different <clears throat> these are like warmer purples because they pull more in the red than they do in the blue we're not gonna go into that. That's why I cut off hella shit in my last video. <clears throat> but I do love this. The one thing I and it has a huge mirror, which I love too. The one thing, <sighs> this palette is majority shimmers. Like this is the top row right here. I'm trying not to like reflect it. This top row right here is all matte. This is a matte. These this is a matte, and these two are matte, but they have like a shine to them and I'm just like mm. now I have not swatched any of these so we're gonna swatch them um boss lady right here this yellow gold has been like calling my name I'm gonna do boss lady I'm going to do no filter I'm gonna do lit FOMO and relevant so this is how they look on the ooh relevant is pretty like this one looks like it's like a dual chrome i'm gonna what they look on the hands i'm gonna swatch them they feel nice this this one's pretty this one that's really pretty i don't know if it's picking up but it's like it changes from like blue to purple 
<laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna use that. I ha I kind of have to. That one's really pretty. So yeah, um, let's see how the mattes kind of swatch too. Um, let's do soft. This, they're really soft. I can tell you that they're really really soft. I use soft savage goat gold. And let's do and throwback Thursday. Oh yeah, like these ones right here, the darker ones. They're very, very pigmented. Um, the sauce, let me see. Let's just, uh. Okay, of course, our, I'm a terrible swatcher. Oh, the purple swatch is really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know, I like it. They feel like really, really buttery. <clears throat> but how they transfer on your hands and onto your eyes would be completely different. And one thing I would say, I would like to point out, um, when I had it had the plastic overlay that said Violet Voss, you can still kind of see the imprint in the mirror. Like if I look up at myself in it, I can't see it. But if I pull it back, I can. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, you might can. That, <clears throat> that's kind of a bummer. But we're gonna start off, and I love this color scheme. It's like a whole sunset eye. If you know me, I love a sunset eye. <clears throat> I'm just so coffee today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if I have a jacket on, like I'm getting, <clears throat> this is so gross, so gross. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna like fast forward those coughs. I'm sorry. Hopefully, if I remember. Um, I do wish it pulled more like reds in there and more like darker oranges other than golds, which is the darkest orange in here. So. We're just gonna go on and just start off with an eye look. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna say the names as I go along and have a picture in a screen like I usually do. So we're gonna start off. I'm just gonna go just go in and I'm gonna start off with Savage, which is the lightest orange in the palette. Okay, so far, I, I like this shade. I'm gonna go in with a more dense brush. Am I gonna use this brush? No, I'm not. Um, can't find my damn brush. And then we're gonna take Goals, which is the deeper orange. This one will be a more burnt orange. And we're gonna focus that more on the outer corner. I'm not doing like nothing special. I'm gonna do my typical eye. Where is it? I don't know if I can see one point. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Um, typical eye look I do, we're just testing out to see how good the palette is. Now this color, this is, okay, I'm gonna let guys let you know. There is some fault, there's some kickback in this palette. I'm just gonna let you guys know that. I do really like this color, but usually with more pigmented palettes, there is kickback. It's not bad enough kickback to where it's destroying the palette but you can tell that it's been in because it's getting that like gritty interesting texture i don't like it is not staying smooth like cab on d palettes i don't know why they do but they stay smooth after you kind of like dig into them this one <coughs> excuse me oh so, sorry this one um it's getting that like gritty thing that like morphe palettes do now they're still pink it's still nice but if it ha didn't do that with Savage is doing it with the gold, so it might be the darker colors that only do that. I'm gonna go into third, go into TBT, like Thursday, <clears throat> and well, they're the color called Throwback. So TBT, which is the matte purpley color, and with an even denser brush, and kind of focus that on the more outer corner. And I'm gonna pat more pat that on than. Yeah, so it was definitely the darker colors. The darker colors get more of that, that gritty exterior. Like, it's not, it doesn't feel bad or nothing. These, they, they're really pigmented and they smooth, but it's just that, that weird, I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it's like, it's weird. I'm gonna go back in with goals a little bit because I don't want um throw back really in the crease i want it more on the outer area 
So then I'm gonna like do my typical thing and I'm gonna cut the um the front of my eyes. <coughs> oh, I felt I was just ill. And I'm gonna um use relevant because I really like the way that one looked. It had like a dual chrome feel to it, so let's see if it appears like that on the eye. color okay this is probably this is so pretty like it's like this like interesting like bluey purple kind of this is a really pretty color like this is really pretty So then I'm gonna go back in with TBT and just like blend out this outer part a little bit. I like this. This is, I like this. This, that dual chrome, whatever it is, is just selling it for me. Like, it's so nice. Like, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna, Go off camera, I'm gonna pop on some lashes and mascara and all the other stuff, and then I will be right back to finish the under eye and the rest of my face and talk about how I feel about this palette. Okay. Bye. My, I swear my camera hates me sometimes. So I am back. It took me forever to put lashes on because I actually ripped the back half of the lashes I was gonna put on. So I put these ones on instead, and these are Ardell Double Demi Wispies or the Double Ups. I actually really like these. Demi Wispies are some like my Demi or Wispies or Demi Wispies. Anything of that nature are my favorite eyelashes because they're most the most flattering. I feel like on any eye shape, especially mine. One thing I can say when I put my lashes, I did not notice that until I like, actually got close. The glitter, I have a lot of like kickback all over my face. I mean, I personally don't care. Some people do. So if you're a person who likes to do eyeshadow before foundation, then you'll be fine. If you are not, you might wanna leave some extra powder on your face. If you're thinking about buying this palette. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, do the under eye now. Where is that eye pencil? So I'm gonna use actually a white eye pencil because I feel like this is gonna be a little more opening to my eye. And then I'm gonna take the purple. Yes, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just take this like smudgy brush and I'm gonna take that thing. No, I'm gonna take Life, which is like the iridescently purple. And I'm gonna smoke my under eye with that color. Get as close to the little last one as I can. And I'm gonna just do it on the outer part. And on the inner part, I'm just gonna take another brush, a similar to shape of that one. And I'm going to take, let's do FOMO, which is like the orangey one. That's really pretty. And I'm just gonna throw on some bottom mascara. I'm gonna just finish up the look and while I finish up the look, I'm gonna, you know, talk about the palette. Now, this is my first Polly Boss palette. I did originally want the Holy Grail palette, but it was always like sold out whenever I wanted to get the chance to get it. And by the time, um, it wasn't always like sold out and I can really get my hands on it. It was kind of like out of hype, so I wasn't really worried about it. So this palette was basically the determiner, the, the correct word, yes, the determining factor, that's another word I like to use, for if I was going to it purchase any more, cause you know, I have the Nicole Concilio one, I have the Ride or Die, of course the Holy Grail. Um, so I'm, I actually kinda like the palette. I like the color payout. 
highlight I'm using La Peach from the Jackie Anna Time Artist Couture. This is oh, one of my favorites right now. Um, I do like the palette. It it is kind of heavily priced, but it's a big palette. Like I think my Too Faced, which one? The Peach palette, the Peaches and Cream. I think that's what it is. That one was just as much, if not more. And that one's a smaller palette. I do really like that palette. But this one is bigger. You do get a mirror. I do like the shimmers in it. Even though I'm not a big shimmer person, the mattes that I did use, they're very pigmented. Like, they're very, very pigmented. So I'm not necessarily mad at the palette. Um, and I feel like $45 isn't that bad. Honestly, I've had palettes be more and be smaller than this palette, so I can't really, I wouldn't complain about it. I, this was actually a palette I probably would use on an everyday basis if I did my makeup every day, which I don't, if you actually see me out in person. The one thing is, it gets dirty. Oh no, never mind. It just, it picks up oil so quick. The glitters, once you like dig into them, they look like you dig into them and the and they have fallout like crumble they're like crumbly like a glitter maybe and it's like it's not bad but it's like if you're not if oh god can't talk in front of lip liner um if you have a problem with that like they're very soft like that's the thing like they're pressed super softly Sorry, I can't put a lip liner and talk at the same time. So like, if that's gonna be like a problem for you, then I say don't get it. I do recommend this palette. I do, I actually really like this. The colors are pretty, they have good everyday. Like if you're into warm colors, this is a very good palette for you. The browns are nice. Like you can honestly get like an everyday look out of fresh, sauced, go and then maybe throw like some truth or some boss lady or something on the lid something like that um um god people do not reflect like i'm feeling um sorry i just trying to hear the lip kind of never use this color because it's so pink Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this. We'll just go with this. Just wing it. Um, for lip liner, I used Max Mahogany. This is the Mac Patrick Star pencil. And for the lip, I used ColourPop Times I Love Sadi lip gloss in Curvy. Um, but I do recommend this palette. This is a nice palette. If you don't have $45 to spend on one palette, I say then don't buy it. But this, it's really pigmented. It has great color payoff. I feel like you're 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 getting your money's worth. Like it has the mattes get a little gritty, but a lot of good mattes to do. I know a lot of other palettes that mattes to do that. The shimmers, I don't know how they act. One thing I don't know. Let me see. After you dig, usually after you dig in the shimmers, they're not as like pigmented. No, when you pick, dig into them wet, they're not. So this one, this is the palette I say don't go into your brush wet because I feel like it's gonna ruin the the metallics and the shiny one is going to get all crumbly and stuff so i say don't do that if you would like wetting your brush this is not the palette for it i feel like it's going to ruin them but other than that yeah i like it I, I think it's worth the money it's not the worst palette is it one of the best i'm gonna i still think my cap on d's are like the best <coughs> um but this is probably one of the best Expense, more expensive high-end palettes that I did. There's a few in here Palettes in here that I just absolutely don't really like and I'm just like I use them I use them a few times just to give them a chance and I'm just like Was it worth the money? I will if you guys want to see a products I regret buying video I got some so I could do one But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you thumbs up and subscribe. I do recommend this palette 
if you can get your hands on it if you can't it's not gonna kill you this is not i feel like it's not one of the palettes where it's like this one is saying like oh my god like you have to buy this but it's really nice so that's gonna conclude my video thank you guys for watching and hopefully i'll see you soon